Hello everyone, it's Chantel from Crow Chantel, and welcome to this tutorial on how to crochet an amigurumi star. So the materials that you'll need include a 4mm crochet hook, some scissors, a sewing or darning needle, a stitch marker, I personally use a bobby pin, 12 millimeter safety eyes, yellow bulky yarn, as well as some polyfill stuffing. And the terminology and abbreviations you'll need to know include a magic ring, single crochet, increase, decrease, slip stitch, and fastening off. So to start, you will take your yellow yarn and create a magic ring. I personally like to close off my magic rings before working single crochets into them because I find it helps prevent the yarns from snapping, but it's ultimately your choice. And for row one, we will simply do six single crochets around in the magic ring. And this is what it should look like. For row two, we will do a single crochet and then an increase for a total of three times. And by the end of the row, you should have a total of nine stitches. Then for row three, we will do two single crochets and then an increase, once again for a total of three times. And you should have a total of 12 stitches by the end of the row. and you should start to see a cone shape forming. And then for row four, we will do three single crochets and then an increase for a total of three times. By the end of the row, you should have 15 stitches. And now we will be getting onto the last row where we will be doing four single crochets and then an increase for a total of three times. By the end of the row, you should have 18 stitches. And this is what your work should look like. To fasten off, slip stitch into the next stitch. No need to leave a long tail for sewing. You are going to make a total of five of these, but on your fifth one, do not fasten off. I will be doing mine off camera, and then I will come back. I have now completed my five points, remembering to keep the fifth one on the hook and not fastening off. We will now get started on row six. So for row six, you will take one of your other star points, insert your hook into one of the stitches, and do a single crochet and then mark that as the beginning of the row. And then you will do eight additional single crochets on that point. So you should have a total of nine single crochets in the point. We are now going to take another star and repeat the same process of inserting our crochet hook into one of the stitches, doing a single crochet, and then doing eight additional single crochets across the star point. And you will repeat this process until you have attached the five points. And then once you have finished attaching the fifth point, we are going to join the fifth point to the first one. 
to start to create the star shape. So on the first point, count out nine stitches from the beginning of the row. Insert your hook into the ninth stitch and then work nine single crochets across that point. By the end of this row, you should have a total of 45 stitches. And this is what your work should look like. For row seven, we are going to do seven single crochets and then a decrease for a total of five times. By the end of the row, you should have 40 stitches. And then for row 8, we will do 6 single crochets and then a decrease for a total of 5 times. By the end of the row, you should have 35 stitches. Now we will get started on row 9, where we will do 5 single crochets and then a decrease for a total of 5 times, having 30 stitches by the end of the row. And then for row 10, we will do four single crochets and then a decrease for a total of five times. And there should be 25 stitches by the end of the row. And then for row 11, we will do three single crochets and then a decrease five times. And there should be 20 stitches by the end of the row. Do not worry if it starts to form a dome-like shape. We are making a rather chunky amigurumi star, so this shape is completely normal. And then getting started on row 12, we will do two single crochets and then a decrease for a total of five times. And by the end of the row, you should have 15 stitches. And then for row 13, we will do a single crochet and then a decrease for a total of five times, which will result in having 10 stitches by the end of the row. And then for our last row, row 14, 
we will simply do five decreases around. And then you will slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off, being sure to leave a tail to sew the opening closed. Fortunately, since we decreased in intervals of five, the opening shouldn't be that large. And so, taking your darning needle, you will weave the tail through the front loops only of the five remaining stitches. And then you will pull the opening closed and tie a knot. And then weave your end onto the inside of the star. And this is what it should look like. We are now going to insert the safety eyes. You will be putting the eyes in between rows 11 and 12. Be sure that you have your star oriented so there is one point at the top. And then have your eyes on opposite sides of the center of the star. And then secure the backings. And this is what it should look like. We are now going to get started on the back of the star. So, for the back of the star, take one of your points and insert your crochet hook into one of the unworked stitches. And then attach your yarn. For the back of the star, you are going to repeat the exact same process that we did for the front of the star by first working nine single crochets across each of the stars and being sure to connect them all, and then decreasing down to five stitches. And then on row 11, or approximately 20 stitches around, stuff your star, making sure to get stuffing into each of the points. And I will do that off camera. And this is what your star should look like after you have completed that step. You may notice that there is openings by each of the places where we connected the star points. So to fix that, simply take your yellow yarn being sure to give your star a little squish first and sew the openings closed. Repeat this process on all five of the connection points and then come back to this video. I have now completed sewing each of the openings closed and this is what your finished star should look like. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you enjoyed, please like this post and subscribe for more content such as this as I post free patterns every Friday.